As we step into Deuteronomy chapter 31, Moses is 120 years old. He will soon die and his service as the Israelites leader is coming to an end. Moses brings Joshua before the people and God commissions him as the new leader that would take them into the promised land. After Joshua's commission, Moses finishes writing the book of the law, the first five books of the Old Testament. Once completed, he gave it to the Levite priests and the elders of Israel, and he told them this law was to be read every seven years at the Feast of the Tabernacles, a time when every man, woman, child, and even the foreigner would gather to worship God, commemorate their deliverance from Egypt, and praise Him for His faithful provision. It's interesting that in the latter part of the chapter, God tells Moses that after he dies, the Israelites will fall away and begin worshiping foreign gods. They will abandon God and break the covenant that he's made with them. And for that, God's anger will be inflamed. In fact, God told Moses he would turn his face from the Israelites and leave them. And terrible trouble would come upon them. What a horrible place to be. To fall away like that makes a person wonder what the Israelites were doing with God's word during the seven years between the Feast of the Tabernacles. How hard were they trying to learn and apply God's word in their lives? This is a trap that, if not careful, many Christians today are inclined to fall into. We go to church every Sunday, listen to the pastor's message, worship God, then go home and rarely pick the Bible up until next Sunday. Hebrews 4.12 tells us, For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to a division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of our hearts. Simply put, it's God's word that diagnoses our sin condition, our weaknesses, and our unbelief. We're convicted as we read the Bible and we're moved to make life-transforming changes, but only if we spend time in his word, learning and applying what he has to say. Christian, don't be trapped. If it's been a while since you sat down and heard God's voice through reading His Word, I want to encourage you to open the Bible and absorb His words. Soak them up and let them work in your heart and mind. He's waiting right now to spend time with you. You'll never be sorry for the time you spend with Him. God bless. Have a great day.